the training camp video. This time it's the AFC North. Let's get right into it with the Baltimore Ravens, whose biggest position battle is... It used to be wide receiver, but since they signed Jeremy Macklin, it's now inside linebacker. Zachary Orr had to retire this offseason because of medical concern. Now they have a void next to C.J. Mosley. All right, the linebackers have always been an important part of that defense. That's not going to change this season. So they have got to find a solid replacement for Orr, who, let's face it, did solid work for them last year. More than solid. He was a very good player for them. And their biggest storyline... This is really the first offseason you've actually seen the Ravens be very, very active in free agency. I mean, they signed Tony Jefferson. You know, they gave Brandon Williams that big contract extension. They get Danny Woodhead. So now they have to figure out, is all this going to pan out? Are they going to be able to get quality work out of these players? All right, next up are the Cincinnati Bengals, who have a major, major void next to Geno Atkins. They lost Peckle during free agency. They got to find a replacement for him. He was an important part of that D-line and the defense as a whole and helped him out on the offense side of the ball too. So if they cannot find a solid replacement for him on that D-line next to Atkins, they could be in for a long season. And their biggest storyline is just what team are we going to see? Are we going to see the team from 2011 to 2015 that were in the playoffs every single year or are we going to see the team that we saw last year, which only won six games, had a tie, and really just did not look like a good football team? So what team are we going to see? We'll find out during training camp and the preseason. Next up are the Cleveland Browns, who have a lot of battles going into training camp because they are building something for the future. All right, and all that starts with quarterback. The rest of the team, that's coming together nicely. But if they can't find a solid quarterback, that's going to be for nothing. All right, you have Deshaun Kaiser, Cody Kessler, and Brock Osweiler fighting for that quarterback job. Now, who's going to win? And is that player going to be solid for the Browns? That's all they need. A solid quarterback, they're good to go. And their biggest storyline, how much is this team going to improve? All right, they went 1-15 last year. Now, no one's expecting them to go to the playoffs. But are they going to start to show other teams and their fans that they are going to be a playoff contender within the next few years? Or are they going to look like a team that's still at square one? We're going to get a good idea during training camp. And lastly, the Pittsburgh Steelers, who were the toughest team I've had to do so far because their starting positions are pretty much good to go. All right, They don't have a, a lot of battles going on in training camp for their starting roles, if any really. But I had to pick one, so I picked the backup corner position. All right, the corners are good to go in terms of starters, but not in terms of backups. All right, so Pittsburgh is going to figure out who the top backups are, because in this league nowadays, you're using a lot of corners in the game, and if you don't have solid backups, you're going to be in a lot of trouble when the season starts. All right, and their biggest storyline, it's just, can they beat the Patriots? All right, they play in week 15. The Patriots beat them in the AFC Championship game. And this is probably going to be for the number one seed. Whoever wins this game could possibly be the number one seed in the playoffs. So can the Steelers beat the Patriots and take that number one seed and possibly go back to the Super Bowl? We're going to find out. All right, that's it for the AFC North. Next time I'll be doing the NFC North. And once that video is done... I'll be halfway there. So, see you next time.